Hey guys, Talim here, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Bunker. Now, warning, this is a very slowly paced game. It is done in full motion video, and as such, some people may find it a little sluggish to sit through. Also, I want to state that my narration and my dialogue will pretty much be in the in-between segments when I'm interacting with the environments, etc. When there is video playing, I will not be talking. This will allow people to be able to be engaged in what they're seeing on the screen without my voice speaking over the action that they're witnessing. So with that, we're going to go ahead and just start a new game. Yes, I know I did go in here to make sure I knew the controls and everything worked, and it's fairly straightforward. So here we go. The 3rd of July, 1986. It's a boy. Well done. That was intense. Three years later, day 10,998. This actually kind of looks like angles from a security camera. One thing I'm already noticing about the way this is filmed is that it almost feels like if Fallout was written and filmed in the same style as AMZ's The Walking Dead. It's very much what it feels like to me. You've got to say it again, John. You'd probably be alone, Mom. Still be here. I'll always be here. <laughs> Haven't you forgot to say it again? <laughs> as long as I stick to the routine, I'll be safe. As long as I'll I always be here. I'll stay in our rooms, I'll be safe. <laughs> as long as I don't go outside, I'll be safe. That's it. <laughs> what time is it? We do time, Mum. Yes. Alright, what do we got here? We got domestic nuclear shelters, technical guide. 
Not exactly the thing you want to read to somebody on their deathbed. We do have Treasure Island, and we have, looks like, the Bible. Well, given the circumstances, I think this would be the most appropriate. He has not experienced little. He has experienced in many things. Multiple problems. He has not been tried. Mom? Powerfully done. Bravo. Definitely a step up from the full motion video acting in the 90s. Now, if some of you think you recognize him, it's because he played one of the dwarves in the Hobbit films. I believe he played Ori. The actor's name is Adam Brown. All right, through routine, day 11,109. All right, so this looks like it's about 111 days after his mom died. So about uh, three and a half months or so. All right, medical vitamins, dosimeter. All right, looks like we have to do that first. I'm very interested to see where this story goes because it's not a long, long game. But if it's well told, it doesn't have to be. Go ahead and open this up. We see we gotta take his vitamins. I don't think that's vitamins. Okay. That must be vitamins. I can check my radiation level with the dosimeter. Okay, well, that's that's interesting. Checks the radiation through the cornea. Radiation is just over 70 MR. That's acceptable. Alright. Alright. Check the radio, I assume. Oh, I can actually turn the dial. It's a very smooth transition. I remember the old style games, there's always that loading and hitch between choices. This is actually almost seamless. Yeah, can you imagine if they filmed the Telltale Walking Dead series like this? Good lord. That would be amazing, though. Okay, radiation check. Didn't we just do that with this? Oh, okay. It's on the computer. It must be like a systems check. Okay, turn it on. I like these old 80s computers, which is fitting considering the bunker, I guess, was sealed up in 1986. Survivors one. Wow, that means fifty-seven people have died. Everybody? Because the last number I got was fifty-nine, and then his mom died, so that'd be fifty-eight. And then he's still alive, so that's fifty-seven people. 
Jeez, I wonder what happened to him. I'm sure we'll find out though. Bunker radiation is normal. Good, right? dinner. This food storage is in a bathroom next to a toilet. Well, I guess where whatever works. Let's see what do we got here? All kinds of different stuff. Peaches. My favorite. <laughs> so that makes 27 years, 3 months and 14 days of food left. Oh, we can see more than one can of food a day. Hope that canned food lasts 30 years. <laughs> well, if you ever played Fallout, you know the food apparently lasts a lot longer than 30 years. Our next one is Mother. Okay, but it's been like three and a half months. Oh boy. He has gone Norman Bates on me. Maybe he just doesn't have a place to bury you, to be honest with you. That room, oh my god. That room can't smell very good either. Goodness me. A drawing I did for Mum. Drew her a bouquet of flowers. That's sweet. Anything else? No, just a drawing. I can read to her again. What shall I read to Mum? Um, let's do the uh, technical guys. No, let's do Treasure Island. We had a dreary morning's work before us. There were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out and manned, and the ship wrapped three or four miles around the corner of the island and up around the narrow passages to the haven behind Skeleton Island. I volunteered for one of the boats. Sad that his mother's corpse is his only company. And that's just surviving, that's not living. The 11,110. Alright, so we're just uh, doing the routine. That's uh, what she meant by do the routine. Same thing every day to stay alive. I don't know. I would get to a point where, especially considering the food run out when he's about what, 57? Ready? Radiation is nearly ATMR. It's increasing. Sounds like it's increasing pretty quickly. All right, let's do the radio again. So it looks like the next day I don't have to go through the same clicky steps. It just automatically progresses to the next action. Well, that's good too. Everything seems okay. Food and mother. Twenty-seven years, three months, and thirteen days left. <laughs> so he eats on the toilet. Uh, well, you know. So sad. Such a. We had a dreary morning's work before us. There were no sign of any wind, and the boats had gone out. Yeah, I thought I accidentally clicked and it automatically went to this. The corner of the island it's not the same book you read to her last passages night. to the haven behind Skeleton Island. 
I volunteered for one of the boats. Maybe that's just something like that, that it does. The 11,011, as Bilbo would say. Funny note on that is uh, Adam Brown was actually up for the role of Bilbo in the Hobbit movie. But it, of course, it went to Martin Freeman, but they loved him so much they made him a dwarf. He definitely has a Hobbitesque nature about him, though. It looks like they taste very good. Radiation is over 80 MR. And every day, turn on that radio hoping to hear something. Uh oh. I don't like the music cues. I don't think he likes it either. find that manual okay well what what the heck are these like custom made figurines I don't know what to do that one has boobies the procedural <laughs> manual where is it well let's check in the drawers here my old diary Today it is my birthday, and I have had extra peaches, my favourite, and there was a candle. Mum gave me this book and some pens. Look, here are the colours. Vera sang me a ring of ring of roses. She said she was crying because she is happy it is my birthday. And then she and PJ and Louie and Mum sang me happy birthday, but not too loud. I blew out the candle. This book is going to be my book about my friends. Today I will start a new friend. He will look like this. He will be a soldier because I have a general, but I need a bigger army. I've got a block from the map room, but I had to hide. Mr. Bishop was there. He nearly saw me. He was shouting. He says I am a waste. I think he is a waste. I will make the soldier and Mr. Churchill and Joan of Arc will tell him to fight Mr. Bishop. We had ham today. It is sort of pink and sticky. It is better than sardines, which are the worst. Mum has made my knife sharper so I can finish off doing my soldier. She says Rocky was the best at winning fights, so that's his name. I finished Rocky, so here are all my friends. Yeah, Mum, Doctor, Nurse, Churchill, Sam, Soldier, General, Engineer, and the Commissioner with that red X over it. All right, interesting. All right, let's try the next drawer. I don't need new underwear right now. Oh, apparently this is underwear drawer. Okay. The manual. In the event of a server failure, make an announcement that the mains power being shut down. Find a fuse box. All right, on level two, lo locate the replacement fuse. Fuses. Power off the main power. Wait ten seconds. Replace damaged fuses. Switch main power back on. Performance systems check. Right. Find the fuse box level two. Find the fuse box level two.
Take his mom with him. Press I to view toy collection. Mom. My favorite toy I made. It took ages to make the arms. <laughs> Alright, so there's nine total. Looks like this game does have some collectibles. I'm not sure I can do this. I do like the uh, hallway cam look. I can walk or go straight to here. This is interesting. Interesting. Do I go a different direction? Is that what I'm doing here? Okay, yeah, this is the uh, food. food area. I'm not hungry. All right, okay. What's this here? Storeroom. Peaches, peas and carrots, baked beans, and sardines. Holy crap, there's a lot of sardines. Oh my god. He loves peaches, you can tell. It's the one that's gone the most. And imagine living only off sardines. Does he have to poop? I don't need the toilet right now. No, okay, okay. Wanted to see. Guess we'll go into uh, sick bay here. Is that where his mom is? Ooh. What the heck? Something bad happened here. I can see that. This here. Date fourth of July, ninety six. Patient's name. Vera Taylor. Patient reports headache from Monday a.m., vomiting and diarrhea Wednesday. Also cough with occasional blood. Intermittent bowel pain, increasing pain in chest, temperature fluctuating, peaks at 100.5 degrees, blood present in feces. Conclusions. Patient showing signs of radiation sickness. Plan. Sick base day, white blood count test, monitor. Potassium iodide, 130 milligrams orally per day for four days. Review. Possible DTPA course. Notes taken by Evelyn Jones. Evelyn Jones, I believe that was his mother. Yeah. Okay. Now, was this bleeding from... It's usually one of the effects of severe radiation poisoning is bleeding from all the orifices of the body. You know, eyes, ears, mouth, nose, other places. <laughs> um, go over here. Emergency access only. No lights. I'm safe. Okay, so I'm in sick bay. So this is an emergency stairwell and tunnel. That leads to us uh, exit right there. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. All right. So he doesn't want to go there. I don't blame him. Blood. Anything else? Okay. Let's just go ahead and back out of here. And let's get back down the hallway. Some. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Always the back button. I gotta remember that. What? No, not not back that way. I want to go like back down the corridor. Those are uh, okay. Let's go this way. Room one. Oh, it's mom. I'm the oh, reader of books. I'm perhaps. scared. She liked it when I read to her. Okay, apparently I can't. Mother, I need you. What do I do, mom? Okay. All right, we gotta go to level two. You need to be staying your room. Oh, so he's not supposed to go out of this corridor, these connecting rooms at all. Man, what a... 
wonder he seems to be racked with psychosis. Is locked. The door's locked. All right. Well, I think there were some drawers in here. I'm gonna go check those out. Okay. Some of my old drawings. Okay. Is that like a flamethrower with a vacuum attached? Well, it's definitely a soldier with a wrench and a grenade. Is this is a, a rocket ship. Not sure what that says. Did that say Greg? Fog? I have no idea. A dolphin or a fish? I think it's a dolphin. All right, interesting drawings. What do we got here? Three different things here. What's here? Bunch of junk. Oh, there's a key. The key. Now I have to leave. Alright. There's something down here that I want to click on. What is this down here? Oh, it's another one of these drawers. Looks like nothing but junk. At least, at least uh, he's polite. He closes things behind him. Can I read it when I read to her? Can I read this manual? No. No time for that, huh? All right, let's get out of here. Very slowly, I assume. I'm assuming those voices are from his memory. Okay. And I've taken the spoil supplies off and, and spit it over. out. Fourteen months, at best. If we carry on as we are, eight months. But I, I've gone over it with Dr. Hart. On bare minimum, we might make fourteen. On bare minimum means? I didn't like to press him, but... scurvy, rickets... Christ. Ben. Then we all just withered away to skin and bone. Maybe I should have just left the hatch open and gone for a nice stroll in the fresh air instead. What do we do? We tell people everything's all right. It's not all right. One whiff of this and you'll have your throat slit over the last tin of peaches. Is that the way you want to die, Sam? Fighting over scraps? We could just cut your wrist now and... Guys, it sounds like a douchebag, but he's right. Shin up, man. It's ten minutes until the next bulletin. All right, Sam, that was one of the names of one of the wooden soldiers he carved. So I'm assuming it was somebody that he favored. Do like the, the the cam work? Very cool. Okay, what am I doing now? I can go to the door, or I can continue downward. All right, but I do need to go to level two. It's 
I'm fighting the urge to explore, but this isn't the kind of game I think where you just want to arbitrarily explore. Sort of want to follow the story. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. Hopefully this is a light switch. Hello. It's also a nice touch that he has overalls on and the younger version of himself also has the overalls. Alright, anything clickable? Well, there's a computer and a voice recorder. Something else here. And I continue to walk this way. Um, let's click on this. Okay, well. I do like the little itty bitty bits of story. Commodore, wow. I wonder how long it took uh, people who filmed this to find this computer. Alright, regional reports. Since it's unknown, supplies low, fighting. Commissar Rollins is dead. Or is that commissioner? Oh, he was the guy with the bald head. Let's see. Who's writing this? It doesn't, it doesn't say. Radiation breach. March of 89. Okay. Yeesh. Chief Medical Officer Edmonds. Date October 1996. Deceased. Vera Taylor, age 46. Okay, 1996, deceased, Carol Elizabeth Hurley, 32. Initial failure. Personal log. Sam Collins. That's the guy with the suit. This is 1996. It's going to be fine, okay? So maybe fine isn't the right word, but we have enough supplies to make it through, I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together and be sensible with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here, but I could use losing a few pounds anyway. Miscellaneous. Things I miss. Eggs and chips. Not together, I hope. Um, having a bath. My bed. Warm sun on my neck. Grass. Chocolate. Natalie. Girlfriend or wife, perhaps. Things I hate. Sardines. The bunker smell. And level five. What's on level five? Now, real quick, I just uh, chips in England isn't that like um, that's not chips uh, how we define it. Like we call in America, we have like potato chips. Huh? Isn't chips kind of like potatoes, like softer potatoes? What we would call fries. I am not sure. If anybody knows? Let me know. <laughs> All right, let's back out of here. Let me see anything else in this very dark room. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you can send this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. To 
flat. <laughs> Other civilian casualties noted outside bunker. A group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. And it's like bastards. a post apocalyptic and was arc. Game of Hangman spells out prison. That sure does. All right, well, that was a cheery piece of news. Go ahead and go this way. <sighs> All right, let's see what we got here. We got two doors. Is that like a bulletin board of sorts? A door way down here. Well, then let's look at this real quick. Okay, it's another map. So we're on level two. It's the main office. So I'm assuming these two doors are office one and two. And this is the electrical room. Which I believe is where we need to go. You know what? I should probably search these offices first. That sounds like a good idea. Sounds like one to me. Let's just not stay focused. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I've... it radiation? I don't sickness. know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. <sighs> we'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Mom? Was I supposed to click on that or <laughs> did I bypass it? <laughs> Alright, because that guy's last name is Bishop. That sweet. wasn't on the deceased list, so right. that was somebody else. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I better take you. Okay. I don't like it here. I don't blame you. I don't like it here either. An empty locker. An NBC suit. That's what we need. A network executive getting in the way. All right. <laughs> I don't like it here. I know this. Can I turn these on? Oh, I can. Okay, these are the CTV's camera feeds. What do we got? The barracks. This is the infirmary. Stairwell. Like the offices, maybe? Like a computer room. This must be electrical, if I had to guess. Alright, don't want to waste power. Let's turn those off. Get out of here. I don't like it here. Well, I'm sorry, okay? What's this? Commissioner. No one likes this one. <laughs> Alright, so I found the commissioner toy. I guess the only thing to do is to click on this. Okay, I'm at the computer now. Commissioner, Bishop, Cameron, Science Officer, Clerical, Sam Collins. Okay, that was Sam in the suit. Chief Medical Officer, Dr. George Hart, and Chief Engineer, Frank Hurley. Staff nurse Evelyn Gwyneth Jones. That's that would be the character's mother. Alright. Um shifts. We know Carol Hurley here and Vera Taylor are dead. They were on that medical list in the infirmary. Um Okay, 